What's up guys, Shane Starnes here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at Villo. This is a super easy video editing software that works for both Android and iOS. This is free to use and you can pick it up on the Play Store or App Store for iOS. Big shout outs to Villo for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, I did wanna mention this does work for iOS and Android. So I've got it here on the iPad Pro and over on my Galaxy Z Fold 4. If you're using the free version, there are some advertisements and things like that. You can get the ad free version but even with the free app you don't have to worry about watermarks or things like that on your videos which is definitely a great plus the first thing that i wanted to talk about here is the aspect ratio feature so as soon as you open up a project and you find a video file that you would like to edit uh, the next option here is the aspect ratio so this is great for editing videos for reels or if you wanted to edit a video for TikTok, maybe you want to convert a video that is in portrait mode over to a YouTube format, you can do that here. Uh, in this case, I have a landscape video that I want to convert to portrait for TikTok, so I'll just select this nine by 16. I can either center it or I can choose to fill the screen. If I fill the screen, it's gonna automatically make this video compatible with TikTok and Reels platform. So you guys can see, I now have a video that I can upload to TikTok and it's not gonna look silly. On the same token, if I want to make a TikTok video here in the nine by 16 format, I can center it. And this way I have more control over what part of the video enters the screen. So if there's more detail that I need to be able to see, I can do that. And then I can just simply add a background. So if I wanted to go to the background here, I can choose from any of these backgrounds and then it still looks like a really solid video here. All right, there's patterns for backgrounds. You've got gradients. I really like the way these gradients look for the background. You can even do a blurred image for the background as well. Or you could just do simply a solid color and then you have a video that's formatted specifically for TikTok or Reels. When talking about TikTok and Reels, there's a few other things that you might wanna do to kind of enhance those videos for your viewers. You can add a graphic so you can easily add stickers just depending on what you're talking about. So for this one, I could go with a fire sticker here, uh, just saying that, you know, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is really awesome. All the graphics, music, and all of this extra stuff that you can add, it's included for free with the application and it's all royalty free. So you don't have to worry about any copyright or anything like that whenever you do add audio or these various effects. All right, so there's a couple of stickers there that have been added. If I hit the check mark, now those stickers are added. Okay, if I want it to just be for that three seconds, I can have it there for three seconds, or I can expand that so that it's with the entire video. You can also overlay text. So if I wanted to put some text up here, they have many fonts here to choose from, so you'll definitely find something that fits your video. And then you can just kind of click in there and type whatever you want to go for your text. There's also a picture in picture option. You can choose a GIF or another video that you wanna incorporate here. So maybe you're talking about, in this specific instance, a certain feature you wanted to overlay with another video. You can do that with the picture in picture. You can also very easily apply an effect. So they have different effects, different filters. These are very easy to add, All right? So you can really achieve that custom look that you're going for. They also have these effects here. So if you wanted to add uh, some RGB here to give it that old school 3D look, you could do that too. These are all just different things that you can do uh, to really make your video stand out. There's even an option here for a distortion face blur. So you can actually just hover that over the face and blur out the face. So if you have subjects in your video, and they haven't given permission to be in the video, that's a very easy way to blur faces. A specific project that I'm actually using this software for is to condense my Amazon Lives into Amazon Shoppable Video. So if I click on this Amazon Live video, uh, this is a one hour long video. I can't upload a one hour long video featuring many different products. So I'm gonna need to clip this and trim it down for each individual video. So that's what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna find the point where I start talking about the Galaxy S22 Ultra, all right? And then I'm just gonna click on the image and split, and then I can delete the video that I don't need. You can also use the from now 
until now to trim your videos that way. So these Amazon Live videos include a countdown. What I could do is add my own countdown with the Villo stock images. So I'll trim that off and I'll go ahead and remove it. I can click done. Then I can go to graphics, media, Villo stock, and I can look at their countdowns. They have several different countdowns here to choose from. So there are so many different uh, media files that are included with Villo that just add that extra pizzazz to your videos. All right, so I like this one. I'm gonna go ahead and download that. Once it's downloaded, I can click it and add it. And now it's there at the beginning of my video. So now I have a 10 second countdown instead of a 30 second countdown, which may go better with a specific video. Uh, the other thing that you can do here is you can edit the audio. So you can totally mute a clip if you want to. You can fade the audio in and out. They also add these transition animations. A lot of times if I'm going from one point to another point, I will add a transition effect that kind of just signals to the audience that we're moving on to another point or another topic. So to do that, I'm gonna click on animation and I'm going to do the fade animation. So the way that would look is if I scroll over here, hit play, this gives you an idea of what that fade animation would look like. So there's several different animations to choose from. I'm not really fond of that one. So I'm actually going to change it here to the fade black. And I think that looks a whole lot better. They also have some advanced transition animations. Looks kind of silly on this specific video, but you can see where these would really come in handy. Uh, maybe, you know, for TikTok or Instagram. There are plenty to choose from though, and they're super easy to change. So you can kind of watch all of them here and see which one works best for your video. All right, and some of these are really, really sharp. And I can actually see myself editing my YouTube videos within Villo, um, this is so easy to use that it might even be worthy of replacing my Final Cut Pro when editing my YouTube videos, which, I mean, that's saying a lot. I've been using Final Cut Pro for 10 years, but I'm really learning that there's some really great, awesome features in this software. So a lot of times in my YouTube videos, I will overlay a secondary video. So if I have like some B-roll of a specific phone or something like that, a lot of times I will overlay that within my video. So I'm gonna do a picture in picture here and see how that looks. Okay, so now I have a picture in picture. I can either totally overlay the entire video so I can go from my talking head over to my B-roll file, or if I wanted my B-roll to just be within the frame I can resize it and put the B-roll within the frame. So see, that's kind of what that would look like with the B-roll there in the frame. Or if I wanted to totally replace my talking head uh, A-roll shot with the B-roll, I'm able to do that as well. And then if we go over here to this audio, I can actually add some background music and there's plenty of background music to choose from. All of this is copyright free, so you don't have to worry about paying any licensing fees for any of this music. It's all included with Philo, and you can easily add it to your videos without having to worry about any kind of copyright strikes or anything like that. Once you find a song that you like, just hit the check mark. And while it is Samsung's highest end, and it's added to your video. You also have the option to edit the background music so you can reduce the volume or increase the volume that way it's not too distracting. Four, there are a few minor and now I've got the background music. Series device, uh, where so it adds some energy to the video, makes it more watchable, uh, makes it less boring, but it's not going to distract the viewer from the content of the video. Another feature here that could be useful, and as you can see, there are so many different features, uh, but another feature that could be useful here would be the speed. A lot of times when I'm doing an unboxing video, the part where I'm taking the box apart and getting the product out of the box, usually I'll speed that up. So you have several different options here or you can customize the speed at which you would like the video to go. But it's just a nice option there to be able to either do slow motion or to be able to speed up the video. You can also do things like freeze frame or put the frame in reverse. Also notice a pro feature here that's kind of outside of my expertise. That's chroma key. 
Um, it's my understanding that you can key in on a specific color and edit this in a way that you can place yourself in a different location or you know something similar to that. You can change the saturation and brightness and hue of the chroma key. Um, if you know what that is and how to use it, that's definitely a great inclusion for you. This is another very interesting feature. You can totally remove the background. So, wow, that's really awesome. Uh, you can remove the background there. I should be able to go into the background and I could change the background to whatever I like there. So that's another really cool feature. When you're finished editing your video, you're just gonna go up here to the export button. You can choose the resolution, the frame rate, the codec, all of that is customizable. One thing that's neat here is you can actually take a video that was recorded in 1080p and can upconvert that to 4K. That's pretty interesting. You could also do uh, high definition, 1080p and 60 frames per second. And whenever you're ready, you would just hit the export button. Okay, and exporting seems to go pretty fast. Um, I did decide to do a five minute video. So a five minute TikTok video, and this is the export speed at uh, 1080p, 30 frames per second. I think that's pretty quick, and that's on my iPad Pro. Once it's done exporting, you can easily share this to various platforms which I think is neat that they have that option to instantly share it. Or you can just save the video file to your device. All right guys, so that is Villo for iOS and Android devices. Super awesome video editing software that's free and includes pro features. I don't think you're gonna be able to beat this video editing software for the iPad, uh, iPhone, or your Android devices. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.